damn big X. This is the X complete. All right, diggers and diggettes. This is Metal Detecting Beginner to Beginner. I am Tripwire, and you already know it's Beginner to Beginner because you're watching it. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, today I'm over at Cousin O High School, and I've detected up here about a hundred billion times, and I always seem to do real well. Uh, normally I'm always over in the student parking, but something today told me why don't I try doing the teacher parking just satisfy curiosity and uh, I didn't have the camera on I left it in the car and I can kick my own butt for that because I already found a ring a good handful of coins and a wheat penny and wish I had the camera so I could actually show you guys a live dig or something but anyhow we are gonna start detecting the teachers parking lot over here at Cousin No High School so let's get started all right as I was heading over to the teacher's parking, we got ourselves a hit here. Let's see what we got here totally. Let's see, uh, nope, nope, nope. Here it is over here. Good, nope. Still in there, still in there, still in there. Nope, yes. And we have opening up the presents. Hey, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is it right here. I dropped it. Found ourselves a penny over here. For some reason, I thought it was going to be tin foil or something like that, but nope. It's a penny. So I'm happy. All right, live dig time. We got ourselves a high pitch. High pitch hit over here. Let's break the ground and see what we can find here. Hopefully, it's quarter. We'll go with this and that. Make the little plug. See if it's in the plug? Nope. Still in the hole. Handy dandy pinpointer. Nope, got something. I hear it, I hear it. Not sure what. Huh. It's like, how's that? Oh, I know what it is. It's just a large piece of, uh, uh, I don't know if it's steel or what have you. I don't think it's steel, but. Uh, it's just a long post. It's made of metal. So we're not even going to try to get that one out. And I find those a lot at schools. So, And we found another coin here. It looks like it's... Uh, could be a dime. It's kind of hard to make out. Yep, we got ourselves a dime. Sweet. Again, we're on our way to student or, uh, teacher parking. So wherever you're headed, keep your detector on. Always remember that. I love freebies. I always call the coins that are right on top, I call them freebies. And I usually like to think that this makes up for the hole that we dug with the big uh, steel rod or whatever it is. We didn't pull anything out of that hole. So the freebie makes up for it. And one more time, another freebie sitting right on top. All right, we made to uh, teacher parking and uh, what we're going to do is start over by the hillish area walk all the way down there come all the way back and then maybe do some cross hatching so let's see what we can find all right our first target down the teachers parking and we have something uh it looks like it once was a clip for something like a keychain let's see yep that's definitely it yeah it's like a little keychain tip Clip. So, let's see what else is going on. Okay, time to figure out what's in this one over here. Got a high pitch ringing going, one of my favorite sounds. And we have penny, no, sorry, dime. Found ourselves another dime. Okay, we got this mystery item over here. And it's a, oh cool, an old broken mirror. Uh, so there goes all my luck straight out the window broken mirror Well, it looks like the broken mirror didn't change my luck because I'm still getting lucky with uh, another penny 
And as we are heading back to the car, uh, let's see, where was it? There it is. Another freebie. Another freebie. Go. Cool. All right, we got something here. Not sure what. The detector was reading strap, so I'm not expecting anything super. Oh, lovely. Found ourselves another pencil tip. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Another one, another freebie. It's a nickel. Now, the last one I did, I said I was having problems finding nickels. Let's see what it registers at. And the detector price says, yep, it definitely says scrap, no, uh, nickel and scrap. So, so, what we're gonna do from now on is periodically start hitting up the nickel the scrap thing and maybe I'll find some more nickels all right seeing as how we're right by the car this will be the last hit for the day and we got ourselves another penny I gotta admit um, I'm surprised with all the coins I found in teachers parking normally I never find anything oh well coming up next the end complete All right, what's going on, diggers and diggettes? This is the end complete for my metal detecting of last week. I didn't get out as much as I wanted to because I know Chemical X and I, we wanted to go hit a Chinese buffet, so we did that. Plus, we also had thunderstorms. And to top it off, today being Saturday, one of my favorite hunting days, we got snow. So only in Michigan will you go from 60, 65 degrees one day, three days later, Flipping snow. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the rust in peace section over here. And believe it or not, it's going to sound really stupid, but I am happy with the rust in peace this week because a lot of times lately all I've been finding are these small ones. But today, or this week, I found a lot of big ones. <laughs> For some reason, I like throwing these in the pocket and walking around with them, get it kind of like a small workout going. But yeah, we got a pretty decent size uh, rust in peace here. We got some miscellaneous stuff over here. Nothing really out of the ordinary. A couple of small little bolts here. I'm not sure what this thing is. I don't know if it was a hook or a piece of fencing. I'm not sure. But, uh, cool. Cool nonetheless. We have the ultra crab section, which is ultra small section. Really cool. Here's the mirror that we found. And as you can see us in the mirror, broken mirror. Yep, broken mirror. Okay, over in the bottle cap section, um nothing super real just like you got a big one i think that's from a monster or something you got a black one i got three uh heinekens rest in peace jeff hanneman we miss your brother uh fago and some odd ones i don't know what these two are ones just blank got a fago with the glass and we got some pull tabs over here pretty decent amount of pull tabs because i've been digging some of the scrap nickel sounds up and i get a nickel but nope the pencil tops are back. <laughs> yeah, again, you know, you can't escape from them. Just deal with it. Over here in the jewelry section. Okay, I do not think this is jewelry. I'm not positive, but I tried to clean it up. I just threw it in the jewelry section anyways because I was really hoping it may have been, but I don't think it is. Got a zipper over here. We got a nice little cross. Fake diamonds, fake big time. Coins, we got a pretty good amount of coins for as little as we got out, so I'm happy about that. Uh, one of the coins I did find is this nine, or sorry, 2009 penny. I know it's really hard to see because it's really bad. But as a coin collector, the Lincoln Bicentennials, for some reason, are my favorite. The different four in the series. So I'm, I don't run across these often. This may actually even be my first one. I don't know. Anyhow, we got a couple of Canadians. And good amount of dimes. Good amount of dimes and a small handful of quarters. Not a problem. Oh, and before I forget, metal detecting beginner to beginner is brought to you by the lever. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I had a little bit of an interruption there. And uh, what I wanted to say before I got cut off was this episode of metal detecting beginner to beginner is brought to you by the letter F, as in find. Yeah, I know a bad old Sesame Street joke, but for some reason that looked like an S or an F. I'm sorry, my apologies. So. That's kind of interesting little piece of scrap there. Anyhow, the YouTube pick of the week is Grammy Lamy. 
If you guys all get a chance and you want to see what's going on, Grammy Lami, check them out. Uh, ended up finding two rings in one day, and one of them happened to be a sapphire. Yes, that is my favorite stone, and I am so jealous of you finding the stone that I want. <laughs> no, but congratulations on everything in the stone and the sapphire. But get a chance to check out Grammy Lami. It's a really cool, interesting YouTube channel. And for the picks, the finds of the week, I actually have three of them. As I said earlier, um, I didn't have my camera with me. I left it in the car. But here's that wheat penny and that ring I found. I just wanted to show you. It's a 1946 wheat penny and just a squished ring. But this is not the find of the week for sure. This one is, yes, 925. We got ourselves some more silver here. Believe it or not, I found this ring um, at Grissom Junior High School, of all places. You know, it's not normally high, junior highs and elementaries. You don't really expect, you know, to find silver or gold there. But sure enough, found silver right at the parking lot where the cement and the grass meet. So, 925 silver ring, the pick of the week. Anyhow, I thank you all very much for watching Metal Detecting Beginner to Beginner. I am Tripwire, and I want you all to keep the hunt alive. Thanks again for watching. Later.